And all right, thanks, Evan. All right. Yeah, I'm and... gonna off in three, two. All right. It's Ron Goodall, fighthight.com. I'm here joined with Nico Ali Walsh when he makes his comeback fight on Saturday, 29th on June at Florida on the return on Teofimo Lopez when he faces Steve Claggart. This fight is going to be really interesting because it's not just a fight, right? This is yes. more like redemption, it's safe to say, right? It sure is. Redemption, revenge, uh, all that, yes. You know, um, you'll be facing Sona Akali for the second time, and I know that you yeah. made a lot of adjustment changing, not just for this fight, but just part of your career, right? Yes. You know, um, I know that you used to work with Coach K, and you made some adjustments we've seen in your last fight um, with Salas. How has that adjustment been, and what have you learned just from working with different trainers? I've learned a ton. I've learned a ton. Uh, someone like me who's early in their career, I, I'm still in that stage where I'm able to learn. I'm not an old dog where a lot of these, a lot of the boxers are too old to be taught new tricks. I'm, I'm too young, you know, and, and this is my second year in boxing. August will be three years exactly. So I'm, I'm here to learn. I just absorb energy. I'm like a sponge. You know, when you uh, look back in that fight, you know, obviously everything's hindsight now, but what, without giving a game plan, what do you feel in that fight? that you're able to do now in this fight? Is it more of confidence maybe, or maybe you felt there were certain things that emotionally you engaged or, or you could have used, you know, better IQ? Or... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like I, I said this to someone else, um, it's not what he did that got him the decision. It's what I didn't do. Mm -hmm. And so for a fight like this, that seems grandiose and it's, it's a super tough fight. It's this and that. It's not really that tough. I was making dumb decisions and I wasn't I wasn't myself. So all I got to do is add to what I was doing and and the fights won. I, I believe I won the first fight. So now I just got to make a, a, a clear, uh, decisive victory. You know, um, you know, a lot of fans, they're very fickle and they like to paint certain narratives. Right. And yes. obviously the under the undefeated quote unquote would be like I do it for every fighter. But right. looking at like lineage, right? And you know, your your grandfather. Yeah, I've never you know, been one of those undefeated guys. I've never been I've never been into that, if I'm being honest. Well that was kind of what I was saying like the lineage, you know, what made your your, your grandfather so great is that he was able to show that, you know, I'll fight the best and then I can make these adjustments. And so um, from like the Ken Norton fights to the Frazier fights to the, the Spinks. Yep. Do you, do you kind of feel like at this point you rather had a chapter where you're able to show that you can battle some adversity and then show like, this is what a true fighter goes through versus that undefeated yeah. record. This is what a true fighter goes through. I, you know, and I am a true fighter and I should be, I should be, you know, it's, it's not just me in, in the new age of boxing. I, I love to see in the new age of boxing, there's fighters who take risks. They will fight whoever the fans want them to fight. At the end of the day, that's what matters more than anything. Look at uh, Devin Haney. Look at um, Terrence Crawford. Uh, look at Usyk. Um, just even Tyson Fury. Like these guys will fight whoever the fans want them to fight. And that's the kind of guy that I am. I could care less about being undefeated. You can ask, you know, I, I actually saw in an interview recently where they asked someone, would you rather be undefeated? Uh, or, or they asked something along the lines of, would you rather be considered the GOAT with losses or not be considered the GOAT and be undefeated? And most of the guys sided towards the undefeated side, which I think is absolutely ridiculous. My favorite fighters... The goats of box. My grandfather's the goat, but the goat, the Mount Rushmore of boxing. All of them have losses, and they fought the best. So, you know, it's weird. But I think we're bringing back the old age of boxing. Absolutely, and you know, with you just recently, you know, with your experience and things like that, and for a lot of the fight fans, you know, you you took on a, a really tough opponent. You know, maybe even questionably, like you know, why why should fight a little bit soon? Um, you know, a guy with really solid winning record, but at this point, do you feel that after this fight, do you feel that you still need more developmental fights or do you want to step up and continue that path to a world championship fight? I all, my path is towards that, that world championship fight, whatever it takes uh, to get there. I don't, 
one thing I've learned is that I'm not just a fighter. I, I feel like I'm smarter than just being a fighter. I'm not a meathead, so I'm not going to just want to fight everybody. I want to fight. I want to fight everyone, but I know that's not how boxing works. I need to listen to my team and take and take the fights that will get me to, uh, you know, where I, where I want to be. Because if it was, uh, if you ask any uh, fighter that's competitive like me, someone who, who has zero amateur fights and zero pro fights, Hey, are you ready to fight Canelo? They'll jump to the opportunity. It's mm-hmm. that's the fighter in them. That's the fighter in me. So I will listen to my team and I will listen to top rank, uh, the matchmakers and, and I will do what's best for my career. You know, I, I know you take boxing extremely serious. I've seen you in the gym. You know, I've seen you spar, you know, in front of Bomac and Terrence and, you know, at the top yeah. ring gym doing insanely solid work. And I know that some people have felt that, hey, you know, why go through the boxing route and take these super tough fights, right? Mm-hmm. Or because you have such a markability, you know, yeah, with yeah, the yeah. name. And I'm sure you already know it goes, that does it get conflicting when people say, hey, you should – aim for more of Jake Paul or like, you know, after Jake Paul, Mike Tyson versus like fighting a guy, which maybe most casuals may not know in the world. Right. So that that's the tough situation with me is that I'm unlike any other fighter because the other fighters don't have the mark. Other fighters don't have the, my name transcends boxing. So you get people who are like the influencers, the, the, the clown show people who are trying to be in boxing but my, the Ali name transcends just the sport of boxing. So everyone knows the Ali name. Um, so they, a lot of those guys try to gravitate towards me to just kind of chase off the clout that the name has. Um, and what sucks for me is that I'm, I'm missing out on a lot of money. If I were to take the uh, influencer route, I'm sure I would make, I, I, I'm not sure. Like I, I'm certain that I would make, millions uh doing that route but it wouldn't be anything of substance you know the title fights uh you know going for fighters where where there's risk that's something of substance that creates legacy and at the end of the day that's what i'm in boxing for i'm not money mayweather i'm not money nico and if i was <laughs> I, I would be a millionaire already going that route but uh legacy is what's important to me and i feel like uh the belts uh those fights those serious fights in boxing that's something of substance these jake paul fights where you know fast cash that kind of stuff fighting youtubers and and football players and stuff it's weird it, i mean you get quick cash but it's nothing it's it, there's no legacy behind it i don't want my legacy to be money driven mm-hmm. perfect you know i think that's why you know i had to ask to clarify because it, it speaks volumes to the pressure, not just as a fighter, but, you know, obviously holding, you know, your family's name and all of this. And my, uh, my couple final last questions is, you know, yes. just asking you because you know, this week we do have a solid middleweight fight going on and, and Jenna Beck will be fighting. And just wanted to get from your, your perspective, who do you feel is the best in the middleweight division and why? It's tough. Jenna Beck is extremely good. You've got, uh, the middleweight division right now is tough because everyone seems like they're either going up to 68 or down to 54. Um, and I feel like a lot of those guys can mix in at 160. I like the middleweight division. Um, it's it's tough to say who who's the king right now. Triple G was the king. Uh, it's hard to say who, who the king right now is, but I'm excited to watch these guys fight. I always tune in. And, and then um, just last, just as a fight fan, do you have any predictions? Or are you watching any fights this weekend? Have to ask. Just, well, I'm you know, watching the Tank fight. I'm watching the Tank uh, Frank Martin fight. Um, I'm, of course, watching David Benavidez. That's one of my favorite fighters. Um, I don't have any predictions because I, I think it'll be a good fight. Um, I I don't know if the tank fight will be competitive i hope it is because i want to see a good fight um but uh i'm rooting for benavidez right, that's well, one awesome. prediction i have perfect well look i appreciate the time nico you know i know that you're really ready for this redemption um you know this yes. fight means more than just simply just getting a revenge right showcases your new abilities and things that you've been working on and um yes. you'll be coming back on espn 
on Saturday, 29th, uh, on June, on Teofimo Lopez and Steve Clagger. Do you have any last message to the fans that will be tuning in and be rooting for you? Tune in. Everyone Everyone loves a, a comeback story, and uh, it's easier to – not come back it's easier if you're if you're down to stay down and i'm not that guy that stays down so watch tune in it'll be a good fight awesome appreciate it